That's a honey of a tree, Clark. The real? Yeah, yeah. I dug it out of the ground myself. That a fact. Hey, hey, get out of there! Stop! No! Oh, don't worry about it, Clark. Little tree water ain't gonna hurt him. Before we left, he drank a half a quart of pins oil. Boy, when he lifted his leg the next morning. Whoa! <laughs> Eddie, if he drinks the water out of there, the tree's gonna dry up. Come on, out of there. It's not. Out, out, out. You get out of there. Come, get in the kitchen now. Get in the kitchen there. Get you something to eat. Go on. He's cute, ain't he? Only problem is he's got a little bit of Mississippi leg hound in him. If the mood catches him right, he'll grab your leg and just go to town. <laughs> you don't want him around if you wear his short pants, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a word of warning, though, if he does lay in to you, it's best to just let him finish. I just can't believe you're actually standing here in my living room, Eddie. Mm. <laughs> Never thought the day would come. Yeah, I'm excited about it, too. It's a crying shame the older kids couldn't make it. I'll get that. Don't worry about it. Let me do it. Yeah, I got the daughter in the clinic getting cured off the wild turkey. And the older boy, bless his soul, is preparing for his career. College? Carnival. You gotta be proud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last season he was a Picture dust spreader on a Celtic world. And he thinks that maybe next year he'll be guessing people's waiter barking for the yak woman. You ever see her? No. Yeah, she's got these big horns growing right out above her ear. Yeah, she's ugly as sin. But a sweet gal and a hell of a good cook. Can I refill your eggnog for you? Get you something to eat? Drive you out to the middle of nowhere? Leave you for dead? No, I'm doing just fine, Clark. You have all been chosen for the starring role as Santa Claus. Damn it! What do you think, I'm some kind of curbbird or something? I was thinking because you're Santa Claus. Yeah. Don't waste your time on me 